Hello, my name is Adonis and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing what today's secretly going to tell you spread for all of my Leos out there. So let's get after it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Sun, crossing the sea. Sun, crossing the sea. What they secretly want to tell all of my Leos out there. What do they secretly want to tell all of my Leos out there? There you go. That's great. A lot we're definitely going to take that. That's not good, but that's okay. So, we're dealing with someone right now that is stuck with the hangman energy here. This person's stuck. Uh, could be stuck in transition, you know, transitioning from one thing to the next. I really get this the sense here that um, this person's mindset was that you're related. This is someone you were talking to. Okay, um, <clears throat> you know, you guys were moving in 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 what they thought was a pretty a productive um, direction. However, things have the, the works kind of got gummed up a bit, and there's this feeling of being stuck. Okay, um, and at this point, this person's in the mindset hub with the five of swords. Do I continue to stay and fight for this relationship? Or do I just walk away? Because there, there, there's like this indecision stuff going on right now. <clears throat> you know, that's why I said they're, they're stuck. Now, the reason why that, uh, what could have led to this situation of them feeling stuck and so forth. We got a five of wands here. Five of wands representing a lot of arguments and a lot of disputes. So as of late, things have been getting kind of crazy. Things have been, you know, the... Um, <clears throat> The honeymoon's been wearing off, so to speak, okay? And there's been a lot of arguments, a lot of disputes about different things, you know. Uh, and, you know, they're looking to have this bird removed from their chest here with this ten of wands. They're just kind of looking just for things kind of be back to either they want things to work out or they just kind of want this burden off their chest here. Just like, you know, just forget it. So that's, there's this indecision going on with this person here. Now, they want their wishes fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. They absolutely want their wishes fulfilled with the Nine of Cups. They want things to work out, you know. And when everything, you know, they, they want you guys to kind of get back to where you were before. But they're feeling like their hands are tied behind their back. They're feeling like they're marginalized because of, the, because of all the arguing and disputes that have happened so far. So they feel like they're kind of marginalized. They feel like their hands are tied behind their back. They feel like there's only so much that they can do at this point. <clears throat> and finally, here we have the Ten of Pentacles representing the situation with this person. You know, in their mind, all they want to do is just, you know, really talk about, you know, building generational wealth, um, you know, trying to build a very solid found, a financial, um, financial foundation. So at this point, to kind of put everything into perspective is this person's feeling stuck. Why? They're feeling stuck because... There's been a lot of conflict and tension between the two of you as of late. Um, you know, arguing, having a litany of disputes across the board about several different things. And they're the mindset, hey, listen, they secretly want to tell you, hey, listen, maybe it's time to either, you know, give this thing one more shot or maybe we should just call it quits. They do want to be with you with the uh, nine of cups. They do want to be with you, but with the eight of so where does this person feel like their hands are tied behind their back, their margins are lies, and they don't know if we're ever going to be able to get out of this. Because right now, they kind of feel stuck in a rut. So that's where you are right now. That's where this situation is. So let's look at any additional blockages, or or, or better yet, the, the root of the issue here. Because looking at the blockages may give us a sense of what exactly is going down at the root of what's happening between you two. So, that being said, what are the potential blockages? What are the potential blockages you guys are doing? What are the potential blockages are you guys dealing with? Here? What are the potential blockages that you guys are dealing with? Here? One more shot. What are the potential blockages you guys are dealing with? Here you go. Some cards need to see. Cards that I need to. All right, here we go. So, <clears throat> uh, pretty straightforward. So, for one, we have the 
queen of swords. So somebody telling it like it is. Now this could be a good thing. This could be a bad thing. And in and, 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 and terms of queen of swords, queen of swords, I call that my no BS card. So that pretty much tells it like it is. So either someone isn't telling it like it is. Uh, and, and being truthful and honest and really getting right to the point. Sometimes Queen of Swords can be a little bit harsh, but, you know, with that harshness comes clarity. You know exactly what's going on. So there's a verbalization of what's going on here. Um, and so uh, actually what I'm going to say is I'm going to say and I'm going to say someone is not either one of you are not. Uh, be it, telling it like it is. This, you know, you're not being straight with each other. Also, the will of fortune is not moving in you guys' favor anymore. Things are beginning to go in the opposite direction. So there's definitely some issues here that need to be addressed. And we got the page of pentacles. Page of pentacles is all about, you know, holding on to those, you know, finding those right words and, and, and articulating them clearly and precisely to be understood. Again, Queen of Swords, telling it like it is. No one's really saying much of anything, of any substance. Page of Pentacles really thinking about what someone's saying and really articulating exactly what the problem is. So there really needs to really be a discussion here. Right now, you guys are talking at each other instead of to each other. And that's pretty clear here. Also, things are out of balance between you two. With the Temperance card, things are completely out of whack, out of balance, you know. Uh, one person's there, the other person's there. So things are like tipsy toppy all over the place. Now, also, we have a ten of wands. Ten of wands. Someone is feeling, feels like they need a burden lifted off of their chest. They want to relieve themselves of this potential burden that they're dealing with here. Okay? Um, the arguments and disputes could be a great deal about long-term committed relationship with possible family. There could be disputes about... Possibly having children, beginning to start a family, extending the family, uh, quite possibly, frankly. So, there's a lot of things going on here. There really needs to be communication. Communication is really what the problem here is. And finally, we have the Queen of Cups, representing someone being loyal, being devoted. Um, and so, because there's been so much conflict and so much chaos... Um, the very fabric that's holding the relationship together is beginning to be questioned. So, in other words, somebody is getting to the point where they're thinking about ending a relationship. So, with that being said, let's see what additional information Spirit got for me. What additional information Spirit have to say? Spirit to say. So, rediscovery is definitely on the books here. There definitely needs to be a sense of rediscovery. Somebody needs to absolutely do, I have a sense of rediscovery here, discovering themselves, discovering each other again. So, you guys got to, you guys really, really, really need to um, discuss what's going on so, you can, so this healing can begin. Also, productivity. Because there's been so much arguing, disputes, etc., productivity, the, the things that you're doing in your, in, in your life as far as being productive as a couple, also as, as individuals is becoming, beginning to be affected. Um, it's beginning to spill out possibly into your respective careers. So that's definitely something that needs to be addressed. Um, and also efficiency. Okay. Efficiency meaning it is not the quantity of the time, it is the quality of the time. You guys, even though you you know you spend time together, um probably not talking, but um that that's what this all you know, just because you guys spend a lot of get a lot of time together really not doing anything, not really not talking, communicating, really not doing anything of any substance. So well, that's problematic. You know, you could just, it, 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 and, and so it's about what you do in, 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 in that time that you have, you know, no matter how short a time it may be, you know, uh, 
you know, just because you guys go out to dinner, you guys may get more done by sitting down and having a five-minute conversation so closer to each other than going out to a dinner and being out for like an hour and a half. So basically what I'm the impression I'm getting here is if you guys want to keep this together, you know, even if you're the one that's going to have to make this first step, then you need to step it up. You, you need to step it up. Open up those floodgates, have those conversations, say what needs to be said so you can rule this relationship in or you can rule it out. That, because at this point, both of you are being um, made miserable by the situation and your productivity in your personal lives, as far as your career goes and, and family and so forth, is beginning to become affected. So it's time to... Uh, do what needs to be done. At this point, I'm going to shut this thing down. This is a general love reading. It may not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, and you want to know more about this particular situation, I'll leave a link down <clears throat> in the description box below. Also, if you guys haven't already, please like, please share it, and absolutely subscribe. It really helps the channel, but more importantly, it really helps the algorithm pick up on my very unique viewers, people that like this style of tarot, and push this out to more people that may be interested in this style. My name is Adonis, I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll absolutely see you next time.